Happy Resurrection Sunday. Um, just want to give you guys a quick message real quick before I head back inside. Hey Sadie, say hello. Sadie, 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 say hello. She's not the one, apparently. Anyway, but I just want to give you guys the gospel. It's found in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. And that is Jesus Christ died for our sins, was buried, and the third day was from the death for our justification. As we know, Jesus always existed. He is the second person of the Godhead. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Jesus left heaven, was born of a virgin, lived a perfect life, never sinned, shared his precious blood on the cross of Calvary for the forgiveness of our sins, past, present, and future, to reconcile us back to God. And what God commands us to do is to believe on the Son of God, Jesus Christ the Messiah. That's what God commands us to do. So what we must do to be born again is to believe in the death, burial, resurrection of Jesus Christ and to trust in His finished redemptive work on the cross. You know, I just want to share something with you guys, man, that I just thought about. So, you know how there are many people who have zeal for God, truly, but it is a misplaced zeal, okay? The zeal for God doesn't make you a saved person, okay? A lot of these false teachers out here, some of them actually have a zeal for God, but they don't believe in the true gospel. So again, misplaced zeal, you know? So they believe in a different gospel, okay? Um, the Islam believe in a different God because they don't believe in a resurrection, so they don't believe in, you know, in the same God, but they, they think they do, but they don't. Okay, again, misplaced zeal. And then you have um, the Mormons who, anyway, there's just different religions out there who all have a misplaced zeal for God, but none of them are saved. You are only saved by grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone. That's it. Solo fide. Okay? Faith plus nothing equals salvation and eternal security. So the moment you believe, let me tell you something. <laughs> Jesus, okay, each one of us, every born again believer is crucified with Christ. Each born again believer is crucified with Christ, okay, and then made alive to God. The moment Christ resurrected, we are also resurrected with Him. And guess what? We didn't just resurrect, we are seated in the heavenlies, okay, with Christ. So our eternity already began with Jesus Christ. You know our Lord and Savior the moment we place our trust in the Lord Jesus Christ our eternity began already okay with him so we don't have to worry about saying oh well you know you know I don't know if I'm saved no the moment you trust in you you are already sealed saved okay and you are sanctified you are justified you know there is only one means a person can enter heaven you must be justified by God and the only way that you can be justified by God is by putting your simple childlike faith in His Son, Jesus Christ. That's it. You know, because Jesus resurrected, we also are part of the resurrection. This is why the rapture of the church, the dead in Christ shall rise first, and then we who are alive shall be cut up to, you know, in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, okay, with them. So, there is so much wonderful things that God has done for us, you know, if we would just humble ourselves and realize, you know what, God is speaking the truth, you know, a lot of times people don't understand what they're talking about, you know, or again, they think they know it all, but I think we have to follow what Jesus says, you know, to the T, you know what I mean, because if we're going to go by that, then we need to realize that it is not us anymore it's only about what he has done the whole thing about salvation is about jesus everything is about him everything okay that means our part in it is just to believe and what he has done is counted towards us that's just that you know that's it we are what you call uh the inheritors you know we inherit what Christ has done. We haven't done anything, but we inherit it, you know? What is completed is given to us because of our faith in Him. So I just want to encourage someone today, if you have any doubts about your salvation, if you have trusted and believed in the Lord Jesus Christ, do not doubt anymore, okay? Why? Because 
your eternity is locked in you already begun eternity with him okay you were justified you sanctified you glorified already okay positionally we are physically we have not yet because we're still living in this flesh but soon what is being done already will be revealed in us you know at the time of the rapture okay so i just want you guys to be encouraged today no more doubting people we are this close okay so just live your life do not and i repeat do not go rapture watching people you watch a defeat of jesus christ don't be looking at no dates don't worry about that people say oh you know it's definitely going to be this time don't listen to that mumbo jumbo guys you know because just don't set yourself up what i'm going to encourage you guys to do is when you watch you see the events we know the times we're living in live your life and enjoy christ let your focus be on christ your rapture watching should be at the feet of jesus christ not looking at dates okay or or or, or certain seasons and stuff okay very important guys you know i'm just trying to you know release you guys from being you know into this whole depressed mode because the days come and go people already began doing that again you know so don't fall for that as you can see it's daylight here and no darkness right so for those who believe this this mumbo jumbo you know it's time to wake up people it's time to wake up everything must be tested with scripture okay if someone told you that they heard from god and doesn't align with, with scripture either they're lying or they're hearing from demons one of the two but it definitely god is not a, a schizophrenic where he says one thing oh and then he says another thing over here says another thing. he doesn't do that okay he's very thorough remember this there is no longer a new prophecy there's no new prophecies okay all the prophecies have been revealed in scripture that's it we are living through scripture right now okay as you can tell uh they, we are not at the end of the revelation yet have we now have we raptured yet have we have we have we uh faced the beam seat yet none of that so again we are still living through scripture okay so there's and the scripture is canonized and closed that's it so there's nothing else to be added to it any new word from god is not from god i'm sorry now god can clarify things that he already gave you in scripture that is normal he does that okay but he doesn't give you something new because then you have to add it to scripture okay we just have to go by this common sense people you know it's just because someone has a million followers or hundreds of thousands of followers doesn't qualify that person okay this is why the road to hell is wide and broad okay but the narrow gate is exactly narrow because it can only fit one person at a time the wide gate and the broad road is many people can be on that road walking at once okay from different aspects of life false teachers false religions you name it okay so be encouraged today guys happy resurrection sunday happy resurrection day guys you guys be blessed peace